Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. From the Kargil war to Balakot strike, the French Origin Mirage 2000 remained Indian Air Force's favorite option for deep penetration strike. The French built jet can be scrambled in less than 6 minutes, making it India's number one air warrior until Rafale joined the inventory. What exactly sets Mirage apart is its high track low wing loading club with high percentage of thrust. Mirage 2000 has a maximum speed of 2.2 Mach and can travel 1550 km with drop tanks. The plane weighs around 7500 kg and has total takeoff weight of 1700 kg. The flight height is capped at 59,000 feet. This gives Mirage 2000 an advantage in quick operations. The Mirage 2000 has a fly-by-wire flight control system and has Sextant VE-130 HUD that is heads up display which displays data related to flight controls, navigation, target engagement and weapon firing. In terms of armament, Mirage 2000 can carry laser guided bombs, air to air and air to surface missiles and has a Thomson CSF RDY that is radar doppler multi-target radar on board. The Mirage 2000s were inducted into Indian Air Force in the year 1982 to counter the American F 16s inducted by Pakistan Air Force. Indian Air Force has purchased around 50 fourth generation Mirage 2000 C and B fighters. In 2011, India signed a 2.4 billion US dollar deal with France to upgrade existing Mirage 2000 jets to Mirage 2005. MK standard. The upgrade includes new mission computer with higher memory, new radar, advanced navigation and electronic warfare system, advanced communication and identification systems. The work on avionics and system was done by Thales, while for missiles, a separate contract was given to MBDA to provide and integrate MICA air to missiles. The contract with the SALT and Thales worth $2.4 billion. A separate contract was signed with MBDA for 450 MICA missiles which worth $1.23 billion. MICA is a multi-mission air to missile system that is, it can cope with both beyond visual range and within visual range combat situation and exhibits high performance in both the roles. The heart of the upgrade was Thales RDY-2 radar which allowed for very long range engagement of targets in air automatic target tracking, mapping of targets on the ground using Doppler beam sharpening techniques and ability to track and engage targets which are moving on the ground. The new helmet mounted sights enabled pilots with a display inside their helmet. Pilots were able to see superimposed radar data without having to reference any of the display inside the cockpit. In operational terms, this means that in case of air combat, the pilot who is looking through their helmet can direct weapons by merely pointing their head in direction of what needs to be hit as opposed to having to maneuver the entire jet in direction of the target. Pilot need to just see the target, lock on it and launch the weapon. The Mirage 2000 features a new night vision compatible all digital state of art class cockpit with multicolor multifunction displays replacing bulky analog cages. The new cockpit is neater, more user friendly and far simpler to maintain. Now, Indian Air Force intends to maintain the Mirage 2000 fleet in service till 2035. However, the South Aviation has closed the production line of the fighter jet. Incidentally, India had twice missed out the opportunity to manufacture the fighter craft in India itself. The Indian Air Force has to now resort to Christmas tree, a term used in aviation industry for planes that gets their part from the other aircraft. In September 2021, Indian Air Force has acquired 24 second-hand Mirage 2000 fighters for a contract worth 27 million euros. These aircrafts will be scavenged to secure parts to maintain the existing Mirage fleets. In November 2021, Air Force has received two second-hand Mirage 2000 trainer aircraft from France at its Gwalior Air Base, which will be upgraded to Mirage 2005 Mark II standard by HL. Now, in March 2023, the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Defence has reported that Indian Air Force 
may intend to purchase additional Mirage 2020 aircraft from France in order to maintain its fleet strength of 51. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.